feel bad when I'm down, I'ma be okay This way gon' come right back around and smack the B.O.A Only the members don't come running to the down This right here is the engine block tester. And what it is, it'll test your head gasket and you'll find out if your head gasket has a leak or if it's just gone bye-bye. That's crazy as hell. You can rent these from, uh, I got, I think I've rented this from AutoZone years ago. But you know with AutoZone, you rent it, if you don't return it, it's yours. As you can see, I didn't return it. You shut it up! And it ended up being mine. And uh, all it is, it's this little pump. And the pump has fluid. I'll show you the fluid in a second. And you can see the fluid level goes here. So you fill it up with this fluid. The fluid is either blue or purple. Uh, matter of fact, here it is right here. This is the fluid. It's the testing fluid. So you pour this in here and you fill it up to this level right here, fluid level. And you stick this down in your radiator. You gotta let the car get to uh, normal running temperature. Stick this down in the radiator. And then you have this little ball right here. This little ball right here. That nigga crazy. Stick this ball in the back. And then you pump it. And as you're pumping it, what it is, is sucking up some of the air out of the radiator. And once that air touches that fluid, if, if it has combustion gases in it, it'll turn that fluid yellow. So it go from a dark purplish blue to a yellow. So you want to keep your fingers crossed and pray to God it don't turn yellow. Or you got head gasket problems, okay? So I'm gonna test mine right now. I forgot I even had this thing, but um, I'm gonna test it and check and make sure my head gasket is fine before I waste all that money to go get it tuned and the thing explode on me. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, I'm sorry about the noise. My fan came on. But make sure that the cooling level is all the way at the top. It has to be down so when you stick the tube in there, it don't suck fluid up. Make sure it's lower than the tube can touch. All right, so I got the tube in. I got the liquid in. And you just want to pump it with this ball for two minutes and pray that it don't turn yellow. Right now, it's still a bluish purple, but it'll turn like yellow, yellow, the color of this writing. If it does that, you have problems. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! All right, here we go. Start pumping. You gotta do this for two minutes. Look like I'm starting to get cooling in there. I think my cooling level too high. I think I see cooling going in. Yeah, I got cooling going in. You see how it started to separate? The liquid went up and the bottom is green. That's cooling going in. It's too high, so I'm gonna have to do it again. All right, so I got the radiator fluid at the correct height where it won't suck none up. And uh, you just pump, 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 pump on my left bed all the time. And like I say, you just want to hope and pray it don't turn yellow. No, God, please, no. Right now, it's still the, the bluish purple or bluish green, whatever you want to call it. And you just pump two minutes. And what it's doing is the steam that's coming from the, the radiator is testing it and when that steam hit this liquid if it has any kind of combustion gases in it it'll turn it yellow and right now as you can see it's still that bluish green or bluish purple it hasn't turned yellow but my time isn't up we say do it for two minutes after two minutes if it hasn't turned yellow did you straight, honey? And right now, I'm looking pretty good. At first, I got scared that it was turning yellow, but I realized the fluid was just separating. The bottom was green and the top was still dark blue. That's the coolant separating from the, the actual fluid. The tester fluid that I put in, that's what you don't want. You don't want it to stay just like this. So what I did, I drained some uh, coolant out the radiator and uh, now we looking good.
Still pumping, pumping, pumping. On my lap it all the time. On my lap it all the time. I'm good. Usually it would have been in turn yellow. I tested other cars with this before and um, some of them turn yellow instantly. And some of them after a couple pumps, it had turned yellow. It's been about two minutes already. I've been recording for two minutes and 17, 18 seconds. My head gasket is looking good. Yeah, boy. I just want to make sure before I spend all that money and get it dyno tuned and you know, they be like, hey man, you got a weak hair gasket, man. You, your hair gasket is lifted. <laughs> then it's like, oh boy. All right, we done. But as you can see, I'm gonna pull it out. Make sure I don't get, okay, we good. And as you can see, I don't wanna block in my hand, make it look darker than what it really is, but it's still purple. Okay, well, I'm good. I can stop crying in the middle of the night. <laughs> I just wanna make sure I'm gonna put it back. Brother, what are you doing? All right, so uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe, share, and this is how you check your head gasket.